there was one thing that I liked that pretty much stuck with me. And, and even though I don't believe in God and heaven and hell or Satan anymore, I still kind of liked this particular, this particular idea because I do believe that there's consequences, but of course it depends on what type of person you are. But I do find this interesting. That angel question of why do good things happen to bad people and bad things happen to good people can only be understood in relation to an afterlife. The bad fellow who lives his life without getting caught, without seemingly suffering the consequences, what happens then? He dies, he's finished, and then why shouldn't I do the same? There has to be a sense of an afterlife where that person will have a rude awakening that the years, the 60, 70, 80 years that he spent in this world not being good, being bad, now carries an eternal price. Whereas the fellow who may have done all those good deeds and might have suffered through life, poverty, pain, etc., enters into the proximity of God and recognizes that for all eternity, he has truly gained the greatest of all rewards, and that is closeness, intimacy with God, knowledge of God, and an eternity of, of, of pleasure on that level. For some reason, I've always liked that particular type of, um, that type of saying. And even though I don't believe anymore, it's, I find it fascinating. I find it interesting, you know, in that sense. Because I think it depends greatly on what that person has done. Because it makes more sense to me that if a person has done something bad, whether they become... Um, you know, a murderer, a killer, someone who, who does crime for most of his life or her life. And they're doing it only because of the fact of, of the way they grew up. I cannot see them go to hell. I can't, um, the concept of it, is, it just doesn't seem correct. But it seems more correct of a person who was Made, made a decision to sell their soul to, you know, call it, call it what you will. And the very part of them, of their, the, of their very soul that's very important is now, it's taken by something evil in that sense. Then I can understand how a person like that, because the, you, you lose part of your humanity just by signing, you know, your, your life away in blood on some kind of contract. And whether you end up regretting it later on or not, it doesn't really matter. And because of that, you end up, you're basically fucked. You're, you're screwed. That makes more sense to me. Someone who knows exactly what they're getting into and they do it anyway. But someone who has done bad things because they had a very messed up background and they, and they grew up in, in, a, in, a, in a bad element, they, you know, they got with the wrong crowd and then, I cannot, I cannot believe that someone like that will end up in a bad place when they die because it's not exactly their fault. Uh, but then again, you know, my personal opinion of what actually happens to someone when they die 
is something that I think most most people are not going to want to vote. Want to um, I'm sorry, want to actually believe. And I talked about it before. Um, on what happens when you die? I did I did a video on that, and not too many people liked it. But you know, that's just my opinion. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Questions or comments, you know what to do. And this is Dare to Speak. And to all of you, take care.